Thanks for joining us for this 10th installment of the 12 part series that we're calling the Entrepreneur's Ultimate Toolkit presented by VastSolutionsGroup.com. Today we're going over essential terms for qualified plans. If you recall the Entrepreneur's Ultimate Toolkit, really what it is is we're going over every single thing that an entrepreneur would need from beginning of the process, let's say the idea stage of their company, all the way to the sale of it. And even beyond that, we're going over legacy planning, partnerships, uh, taxes, financials, everything in between the beginning of the process, the idea formation, all the way to the end of the company's existence. And today we're going over specific elements. If you remember the ninth installment, we went over a little bit about qualified plans. And here we're going over the specifics of qualified plans as it relates to business owners. Now, the reason we're going over this is because a lot of people call in asking our company representatives for specifics about qualified plans. We do a lot of qualified plans, but specifically people have questions they're kind of embarrassed to ask when we're in a group setting. So we put together this glossary of specific items as it relates to qualified plans for entrepreneurs. Now, hopefully you're listening to this because you're an entrepreneur. Specifically though, you're also probably having some questions about qualified plans. So we're going to get to it. Whether you're new to the qualified plans or 401ks or defined benefit plans, or you just want to brush up, this will help you because we're going to go over some tax strategies potentially. Also some just simple glossary terms. They're going to add value to you that you never probably knew because a lot of people, even people in the industry, don't realize that these things are available. Now, why don't we go ahead, get started. 401k is what really is a 401k? Now, um, a 401k, it's a type of what's called defined contribution plan. The employee can contribute or really defer money from their paycheck before taxes are taken out. The contributions go into or deferrals go into a 401k account. 401k is government sponsored plan with the employee often choosing the investments based on options provided under the plan. In some plans, the employer also contributes matching the employee's contribution to a certain percentage. Now, there are simple plans and safe harbor 401k plans, and those have additional employer contributions and vesting requirements. We're going to get into that. Automatic enrollment. What is that? A lot of people, we just had a call just a few days ago about that. Employers can automatically enroll employees in a plan such as a 401k plan, a simple IRA plan, and place contribution deductions from employees' paychecks into certain predetermined investments unless the employees decide otherwise. Participants can opt out of participation and have periodic opportunities to change their investments. Benefit accrual. The amount of benefits accumulated over time or grown, have grown over time. Um, cash balance plans. Just had another call about this just recently. It's a type of defined benefit plan that includes some elements that are similar to a defined contribution plan because the benefit amount is computed based on a formula using contributions and earning credit, which each participant will have a hypothetical account. Now, cash balance plans are more likely than traditional defined benefit plans to make lump sum uh, distributions. Let's go over defined benefit plans. Those are It's a type of plan also known as a traditional pension plan, which promises the participant a specific monthly benefit at retirement. The benefit often is based on factors such as salary, age, number of years you worked at the employer, as a matter of fact. Now, I'm going to give a little bit of information about myself. Who am I? I'm Kenner French, an executive at the company, as I mentioned. Been at the company for uh, just uh, about five years, and I'm with the parent company as well. I'm the chief investment officer at the parent company, which is Vast Holdings Group, a Nevada entity. Uh, VastSolutionsGroup.com is a company that's been around for approximately 50 years, and now we're bringing it into the we're leaving the Stone Age and now we're going little tech and now it's become uh, VastSolutionsGroup.com. A lot of our work is based on the internet. We are now employing artificial intelligence to help business owners to lower their taxes and also prepare for retirement. 
Uh, individual retirement account. What is an individual retirement account? It's an individual account set up with financial institutions such as banks or mutual fund companies. Under federal law, individuals may set aside personal savings up to a certain amount and the investments when they're placed in the account grow tax deferred. In addition, defined contribution plans, participants can transfer money from employer retirement plans to an IRA when leaving the employer, or sometimes they're called a rollover, if that all makes sense. Uh, plan administrator. What is a plan administrator? It's the person who has identified in the plan document as having responsibility for running the plan. It could be an employer, a committee of employees, a company executive, uh, someone hired for that purpose as an example. And what's a plan document? It's a written instrument under which the plan is established and operated. Plan fiduciary, anyone who exercises discretionary authority or discretionary control over management of the plan or administration of the plan exercises any authority or control over management or disposition of plan assets or also gives investment advice about the plan's assets for a fee or other compensation, which let's go over a plan trustee. It's someone who has exclusive authority and discretion to manage and control the investments of the plan. The trustee can be subject to the direct the direction of a named fiduciary and the named fiduciary can appoint one or more investment managers for the assets. Um, a profit sharing plan. These are becoming a little bit more popular nowadays. A profit sharing plan allows the employer each year to determine how much to contribute to the plan out of the profits or otherwise in cash or employer stock. The, um, the plan contains a formula for allocating the annual contribution among participants, usually a percentage of salary. A rollover. A rollover occurs when a participant leaves an employer and directs the defined contribution plan, let's say a 401k, to transfer the money in their account to a new plan or an IRA, individual retirement account. This preserves the benefits and does not trigger any tax consequences if done in a timely manner. Um, uh, a lot of we're getting more and more questions about it. safe harbor 401k what is a safe harbor 401k it's a it's similar to a traditional 401k but the employer is required to make a contribution to each employee the employer uh, and their contributions go to what's called a safe harbor 401k plan that are immediately 100 percent vested the safe harbor 401k eases administrative burdens on employers by eliminating some of the complex tax rules that are ordinarily applied to traditional 401k plans and by that really we mean you have to do tests and with a safe harbor 401k provision you don't have to do certain tests it's easy to uh, get over that barrier of having to pass those tests Savings incentive match plan for employees of small employers or simple for short. A plan in which a small business with 100 or fewer employees can offer retirement benefits through employee salary reductions and matching contributions. Very similar to a 401k to be, to be very simple. Uh, a SEP. A lot of our clients have SEPs and call us about questions. Some people <clears throat> have SEPs. They don't even know what they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Simplified Employee Pension Plan or SEP, a plan in which an uh, employer makes a contribution on a tax-deferred basis to employee-owned individual retirement accounts or IRAs. If certain conditions are met, the employer is not subject to reporting and disclosure requirements of most retirement plans. Under a SEP, an IRA is set up by or for an employee to accept employer, uh, I should say, employ, yeah, employer's contribution. Sorry about that. Um, um, <clears throat> SPD or summary plan description. It's a document provided, we mentioned these earlier, by the way, uh, by the plan administrator that includes plain language description of important features of the plan, such as when employees begin to participate in the plan, uh, also how service and benefits are calculated, when benefits become vested, when and how payments are received, and how to file a claim for benefits. There's others. Also, participants must be informed of material changes either through a revised summary plan description or in a separate document called a summary of material modification. Now, years of service, we get all this a lot. What does years of service mean as it relates to the plan if it's a 401k, et cetera. 
the time an individual has worked in a job covered by the plan. It is used to determine when an individual can participate and vest. So let's go, what, what, what does it mean to vest? Those benefits that the individual has earned a right to receive and that cannot be forfeited. We have a lot of questions about uh, vesting. There, we have a video on, um, on YouTube which outlines specifics of vesting. You can go to YouTube and go to vastsolutionsgroup.com's um, section of YouTube and watch the video. It's very helpful. We've gotten a lot of good feedback from it. There you have it. Glossary of Qualified Plan Terms. Um, now, thank you for taking the time, but some people would say, wow, that was a lot of time. But what's important is this can help you in saving money. Some of these terms can help you better understand and better deal with employees or your plan administrator or your investment professional to help you in better orienting yourself with qualified plans. Qualified plans can be very strong as a means of lowering tax liability. If you have any questions, give us a call, 888-808-8278 or... Go to our website at vastsolutionsgroup.com. Because you've listened to this specific audio for so long, thank you very much for doing so. If you email Einstein at vastsolutionsgroup.com, you're going to get uh, in the in the section portion put uh, book. We will email you the Entrepreneur's Manifesto, a collection of smart financial advice. That's a book that I just came out with once again. Kenner French, thank you very much.